welcome student to me education today we are going to study some very important questions of inorganic chemistry these questions are going to be very important for your gpat niper and another semester and pharmacy examination as well so let's start here we have first question on screen what is used for heavy metal poisoning okay here we have option option a kaolin option b c d e a option c copper sulfate or yeah, option d activated charcoal and the right answer is option d activated charcoal here we have question number 2 on screen what is used in arsenic poisoning okay here we have option on screen option a sodium chloride option b desferoxamine option c dimer caprol or yeah, option d sodium antimony this question is very important and if you think deeply then you can easily find the answer every option has a valid point so pause the video and try to solve this question this question is very important and the right answer is option c dimer caprol here we have question number 3 on screen sulfur dioxide is a gas and we have the option here option a disinfectant option b anti neoplastic option c elipsia ya yeah, option d antiseptic now pause the video and try to answer this question and the right answer is option a disinfectant here we have question number 4 on screen what is used in food poisoning okay we have option here option a kaolin option b penicillin option c magnesium sulfate option d c d e a and the right answer is option a kaolin here we have question number 5 on screen what is used for lead poisoning and here we have the option on screen option a lemon oil option b c d e a option c charcoal or yeah, option d dimer caprol and pause the video and try to solve this question and the right answer is c d e a here we have question number 6 on screen what is used in sedative and hypnotic poisoning and here we have option option a phenytoin option b cyanide option c warfarin or option d activated charcoal now pause the video and the right answer is option d activated charcoal we have question number 7 on screen sodium antimony is a gas sodium antimony contain which chemical characteristics now we have the option on screen option a external protozoal internal protozoal external parasi parasitical internal parasitical and the right answer is internal parasitical here we have question number 8 on screen d penicillin is used for which poisoning and yeah, the option are option a mercury option b copper option c cyanide option d sodium now pause the video and try to solve this question and the right answer is option b copper here we have question number 9 on screen what is used in iron poisoning and we have the option here option a desferoxamine option b palmarosa oil option c edta ya yeah, option d folic acid now pause the video and try to solve this question and the right answer is option a desferoxamine here we have question number 10 what is used in cyanide poisoning and we have option here 
ऑप्शन ए सोडियम नाइट्रेट ऑप्शन बी सोडियम क्लोराइड ऑप्शन सी सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ऑप्शन डी सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सोडियम नाइट्रेट हियर वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर एलेवन व्हिच कंपाउंड कंटेन एस एच ग्रुप एंड हियर वी हैव ऑप्शन मैग्नीशियम सल्फेट चारकोल डाइमर कैप्रोल कायोलिन You have to pause the video and try to answer this question. And the right answer is option C, dimer capital. Here we have question number twelve on screen. What is used in magnesium poisoning? And we have option on screen. Option A, penicillin. Option B, d-penicillamine. Option C, morphine. Yeah, option D, thiopentine. And the right answer is option B, D penicillamine. And here we have question number thirteen. What is used in phosphorus poisoning? Here we have option A, sulfuric acid. Option B, sodium sulfate. Option C, magnesium sulfate. Yeah, option D, copper sulfate. And the right answer is copper sulfate. Option D. And here we have question number fourteen on screen. Gluconate antimony is a gas. Okay, here we have option. Option A: internal bactericidal, external bactericidal, external paracetamol, internal paracetamol. And the right answer is internal paracetamol. Question number fifteen on screen. What is used in AU gold poisoning? What is used in gold poisoning? And here we have option: option A, charcoal; option B, bentonite; option C, dimer capital; option D, kaolin. Pause the video and try to solve this question. And the right answer is option C, dimer capital. Here we have question number sixteen. What is the synonym of bentonite? And here we have option option A clay option B boric acid option C orthobopic acid or option D caustic. And the right answer is clay option A. Here we have question number seventeen. What is the correct dose of sodium potassium tartrate? We have to tell the correct dose of sodium potassium tartrate. And here we have option. Eight to sixteen gram, six to fourteen gram, four to ten gram, or two to eight gram. Now pause the video. And the right answer is option A, eight to sixteen gram. Here we have question number eighteen. Dose of sodium nitrate. What is the correct and actual dose of sodium nitrate? Five to ten, ten to fifteen, twenty to thirty, or ten to twenty ml. And the right right answer is ten to fifteen ml. Option B. Here we have question number nineteen. What is used in burn from hydrochloric acid? Here we have option potassium chloride. Option B ammonium chloride. Option C potassium iodide. Option D calcium gluconate. And the right answer is option D calcium gluconate. Question number twenty: Which electrolyte helps in maintaining fluid balance? Here we have option: option A, calcium; option B, nitrogen; option B, chloride; option D, potassium. And the right answer is D, potassium. Thank you for watching.